Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to correct the pivot point for your mocap. This is going to be a part of a mocap cleanup series that I'm going to be dropping. Let's just jump into Rococo Studio real quick. Um, I've got my animation here that I recorded. And you can kind of see like I stepped into place and then I started my recording, right? So. I um, framed it to where I start my performance and then where I end my performance. Export, go here, click body mesh. I'm gonna choose the Unreal Engine Skeleton preset. I don't know if you guys um, know this, but using that, it'll actually, you don't need to retarget because it's already made to the, um, the UE4, the SK Mannequin Skeleton. Frame rate, I'm gonna choose 24 because uh, I'm finishing a render in 24 frames per second, so I'll just keep it as that. And use clip start time is time zero, yep. All right, and then I'll export clip. Go into Unreal, and here I just have a third person map template open. Um, I'm gonna show you this mocap process. It's actually a workflow where you can basically bring in a bunch of mocap and kind of do this first step to all of them and that would be like the number one thing I would do because this really annoys me when my characters are not lined up correctly. Uh, I'm gonna bring in the mocap first. So I'll go into the folder that it was exported to. Drop it right there. Here I'm gonna choose the SK mannequin skeleton and make sure it's this one, it's the UE4 one. Import animations should be ticked on. I do not need to create materials. Import that. Ignore that message. Double check the animation came in correctly. Here it is. Great. Um, to to do our work, we actually have to create a level sequence. So go to cinematics, right click cinematics, level sequence, and I'll just do clean up work. Save everything, open that up, boom, drag that in there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to correct this pivot. Okay, we need the animation on here first. So let's add the animation. It's going to be this droid walk good zero one. Move it to zero zero zero. And maybe I don't want this first part because I'm kind of stepping into place. So I want the actual animation clip to start from here. So I'm going to right click right here, edit, trim section left. And then I'll move this into place. I'm going to bring in a sphere. I'm going to zero this out so that this is going to be at the world origin. Okay, and this is really just, um, I'm using it as a marker, a reference. You'll see why in a second here. Now, I'm going to move the character to the point that I want him to actually start from, which is right here. But you, you get the point. Um, start from here. Now I'm going to go into the level sequence. Right click. And you're actually going to bake animation sequence. Um, you know, create a folder or, or if you have a folder already. I think I made this mocap one clean up. Okay. And just make sure you label it so you know which one. I'm gonna call it O2 because I actually have one in here already. All right, now the most important part. Right here on export, you'll see it, it's probably collapsed. Open that up, check on record in world space, and then export animation. Now, Got this new animation saved. And put it in this folder. 
So yeah, this is the second, the, uh, this one, drag it out. And I can delete this animation just so I can show you. Um, pivot fix zero two. All right, now, wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, but the point is now, look, the pivot <laughs> is on him, yay. And now you can rotate and do all that. All right, and that's pretty much it. You can see you have a new animation sequence right here. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment, and let me know what other parts you might need help with. But I'll be releasing more videos on mocap cleanup in Unreal Engine, uh, all the great stuff I learned in the Unreal Engine Fellowship. I'm gonna be uh, teaching you guys some of that stuff, the stuff that I found super useful.